hello, future me, or public, if I make this video public, I'm not sure yet, um, but pretty much I found a, uh, it's actually a Reddit link thing, or, uh, whatever, but I pretty much have like a thousand programming project ideas to do, and so I figured, you know, I'll look at them, let's do which ones are interesting, and I would do them and record myself doing them, because, I don't know. So pretty much, um, the first one that I looked at, well, I looked at all of them, and this one caught my eye mainly because it was one I had to do for my, uh, interview. So let's see, this one here, FizzBuzz. Um, here's the description of it, it's pretty short, so it shouldn't take too long to do. Write a program that prints the integers from 1 to 100. Multiples of 3, print Fizz, instead of the number. Multiples of 5, print Buzz. And for multiple, uh, 3 and 5, it's pretty much 15, FizzBuzz. So I'm gonna do it, because I... I'm tired, it's late, and I've got to be up early tomorrow, so why not kill some time by doing this? Uh, let's do new, do new, thank you. Uh, we'll do it in C++, why not? Fizz buzz. Let it create the project. Um, pretty much when I do these things, I probably do them in C++, Java, or C Java, Java, or C Sharp, because those are the ones that I'm used to doing them in. Uh, oh, we don't need to create any source folders or any of that stuff for this. It's just it'll be one file. So we'll do. Where's that thing at? Ugh, source files. Uh, add new item. C++ file, and we'll just call it. Oh. No, main. Ugh. Can't type when I'm tired. Sleepy tired. Uh, for this one, we are going to need to include IO stream. Thank you. And we could use the standard namespace, but I don't really want to. So int main da 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 return settle. Cause that's what you gotta do. So um Pretty much for this one, all you really need to do is make a for loop. So I'm do for int i equals. Let's write a one. i is less than or equal to 100. i plus plus. Ta da. And. Well, now the easy part comes in. Well, that's the easy part. Um, Whatever. The logic comes in. So if i mod 15 equals 0. Uh, standard C out. Let me do. Oops. Fizz buzz. No, there we go. And then we're gonna end the line because it's neater, easier to read. And so that's pretty much the gist of things. Just gonna copy and paste this here. Going to be an else if statement. And this one be if it mods three equals zero. That's when we just type in fizz. And then we'll do another else if statement here. If it mods 5 and equals 0, we just type in buzz. And then an else statement here. We're just going to type in oops, the number itself, which is i. I need to do my thing. Oh, I can't type. I'm tired. It's too slow. And that should be it. Let's run it. No errors, hopefully. Do do do. We're up to four minutes already. Oh boy. Oh man, I forgot to do my. Ugh. It ran it. Um. System. Pause. There. Now we can actually see it when it's done running. And there you have it. There's your fizz buzz. So as you can see, one, two, three is fizz. Four, five buzz. Six fizz. And then here's where we got fifteen. We got fizz buzz. And that is the program, and that was one of my things I had to do for my job interview, surprisingly, something this simple. But that's how you do it, and, well, I'm, I guess I wouldn't make this public, because I wouldn't want to teach myself this again. Not that there's really anything to teach to the public either, because I'm not a teacher. I don't know, I can just do it for fun, document things. That way I look like I'm doing something special. And people can think that I'm smart. Yeah. I think that I'm smart. Anyways, um, that's going to be it. As you can see, we're going to 100 as well. That's why you have to do the uh, equals here. But uh, what am I talking about? I don't need to explain this. Um, um, yeah, I just spent five minutes doing FizzBuzz. What a waste of time, effort, and money.
Well, not money. Ciao.